Hi everyone, Ronnie Rowe here with Ronnie Rowe Designs. Hey, back for another one of my weekly video chats about cross stitch. We're doing a little bit something different this uh, week. As you can see, uh, I don't have the normal background. I will later on in this video for some new designs. But um, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I'll be able to show you um, some of my designs and some of the framed pictures that I've done over the uh, uh, years that I've been doing counted cross stitch. Um, please forgive me all of my mess in the, the office here. This is where I uh, pretty much keep um, all my charts and everything that I have um, since I've been doing this. So this this is really a messy place, but it's really, at least that's what my wife tells me. But um, it works for me. So anyway, uh, before we get started showing you the uh, some framed pictures, um, I've been thinking the last couple of weeks about what's my next project going to be and something I wanted to do. And it's going to be um, something that's uh, got a lot of color and um, it's got a fair amount of stitching to it, but it's a relatively easy design as far as the creativity to come up with the design. And uh, what I'm going to show you is a pencil sketch of what I start out with. This is a, just an idea of what I might have. And uh, once I do this pen, finish with this pencil sketch, I will scan this into my scanner and various programs I'll work and do some colors with this and add a lot of things. I'll uh, do um, some stuff with a program called uh, Affinity Photo, Graphic Converter. Um, I also use uh, PowerPoint, if you will, a uh, Keynote, which is uh, applicable, applicable to the Macintosh. But um, anyway, um, without saying any more, let me show you uh, what I've come up with. This is a sketch that I want to do. Somebody asked me about houses anymore. And so what I want to do is put a kind of a house here, the side view of a house with trees, a uh, old wood pile back here. And this area in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to project that backwards. So it'll be going back like you're looking down a path, if you will. And up in this area right here, I'm planning on putting a lot of sun rays, darkening that side of the design and putting some rays of sun coming down. Don't know what I'm going to call this yet. Uh, I'll come up with something, I'm sure. But um, this is just a pencil thing and the way to get started. And uh, like I say, I'll scan this in and do a lot of a lot of uh, manipulations with uh, various programs, do coloring, do a lot of layering of stuff. And uh, But anyway, that's basically how I get started. And what I'm going to do is when I get to a point where I can start stitching, I'm going to get the piece of material and I'm going to lay it out. I'm going to show you exactly how I cut material, how I lay it out, how I put the blue magic uh marking on my material before stitching and uh, i'll show you all of that and how i really get started along with uh how many stitches i want to be in this particular design uh you know i come up with a number that's uh uh that i like and in other words i try to come up with a number so when i print this and make patterns um uh, i can give each one of the sheets in the pattern can make it fairly large along with 11 12 13 sheets in a pattern so um anyway that's that really determines how i come up with how many stitches it's going to be in, in this particular design but anyway that's what's going to be happening i'm going to show you from start to finish that ought to take me a couple weeks i guess before i'll be able to do that to show you uh, i've still got some more work to do on this to uh get to the point where I'd be cutting material and actually sitting down and putting a stitch on the material. So anyway, stay tuned for that. That ought to be fun. Something you see, a lot of people have asked for that, want to see how I do it. And so I, uh, I'm going to show you. I, I wish I could show you exactly how I do everything with the programs, but I'm limited to my iMac right here with the inbuilt camera. And I don't know how using the Mac I could uh, do that. So anyway, First thing Ronnie Rowe ever stitched in his life. 
this is my very first picture, 42 years ago. My owl. This is a little owl that I stitched that when I started, my wife said, why don't you try cross stitch? And um, she got a little pattern she had in her bag sitting down by the sofa. And um, this was it, a little owl. And this little owl had some uh, back stitching in it. It had uh, obviously the whole stitch. And so um, this is what I did. This is my very, <laughs> very first project that I, Ronnie Rowe ever did. And uh, anyway, we have it hanging on the wall in the den. And so we've gone from this to whatever I've been coming up with over the years. So anyway, this was a, this this was a start. And I don't think my wife really realized when she gave me the needle and thread and that little pattern for this owl that uh, 42 years later, I'd still be doing this. So uh, and I certainly didn't either. But anyway, that's what that's what transpired. Anyway, that's my little owl I have done, and um, that's my that's my start. Another picture I want to show you is one that was probably one of the most complicated designs and pictures that I ever attempted. And what this is, and what this picture is, excuse me, I'm picking things up. This is a framed picture way I frame pictures and uh, after I complete them and I parted the glare with a glass but this is an old lobster house an old wharf lobster house that I took a picture of up in uh, New England on a trip and this is some years ago and uh, I wanted to give it some depth so I took a rope and put a rope in front of it and uh, what you see here all of this up here the sky that's basically what I've done for all my designs. It's a, it's a filler. It's it, it, if you a stitch off on that, it doesn't matter. But what made this design really so complicated for me was the fact between the rope and what you see along here was hard to do for me. It was really hard. It might be easy for someone else, but for me personally, that was very difficult. And um, because it's a lot of shading, a lot of brown shading in there. You didn't want to get too much or too little so that you could really look underneath this building at the water and still see the pylons and everything. So that that was really, um, that's tough. I worked on that for quite a while and I'm trying to figure that out. But anyway, this is uh, one that I did on the New England series. And uh, the frame, by the way, the frames, I built this frame. I mean, I go down to the local uh, home Home Depot and buy the wood, put it on a table saw and run it through. This is all poplar and stain it all up, frame it, cut the mats, everything. So and do all, all of it. So I don't really take any of my stuff to a frame shop. I do buy the metal frames, obviously, for those. But all the wooden frames are ones that I have made myself. But anyway, that one, this one was really difficult and really Kind of hard to do for myself so anyway show you that one another one that i want to show you in the silver frame this is one of my uh designs that i did musical instruments and this is nashville this is a guitar and again this uh i had some issues with this you want to make sure the perspective right but what i did was blow out the back side of this guitar like it was exploding if you will and um but anyway all of that is again what i call filler you had to get be right on all of this kind of stuff and everything but the rest of it is just perspective and getting everything your colors right and this is double i don't know it's hard to see i'm sure but this is uh double matted in a white mat on the silver frame and again back of the frame and that's the way I frame mine up. So anyway, this is with a silver frame. And a lot of the uh, new ones are we're going to be with silver frames. And that's uh, this is what I'm talking about in the videos. Um, the next one I want to show you is one of the newer designs. This is the red door. And this is it's called red door. Have I put it upside down? Yeah. 
wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Um, that's the red door. That's just a, a door that painted red with a lot of color flowers around it. And uh, I also have this year a brand new one. It's called the Green Door Out. And so um, I know you've seen that. That was one that was introduced at the uh, 2022 Needlework Expo, the Green Door, along with this one. So anyway, they all are on my website and so on the uh, SD page. But anyway, this is a, a fairly easy design. It's not a lot of, a lot of stitching in it. And again, the frame and uh, double matted. So um, those are ones that I wanted to show you this evening. But what I really wanted to emphasize is what we're going to do, going back to this, what we're really going to do is we're going to take this and uh, I'm going to walk everyone right through the whole process of me stitching this up. Now, when I get through with this stitching, this is probably going to take me stitching. It's probably going to take me three, four months to stitch this thing. Three months, I'm guessing. Uh, and that's working on it a little bit each, each evening. So I haven't decided how I'm going to do the trees and the clouds and the sun yet, but I'm, I'm working on that. I'll be working on that. So anyway, those are some things I wanted to show you and what we're going to be doing in a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to switch back over to the uh, background, not my office background, but the all, all other background and talk about uh, two of the newer designs. One is called baseball, and the other one is the, uh, uh, gosh, I forgot which one I was gonna use. Oh, the can the uh, the candle. Uh, anyway, my mind's gone blank, but anyway, you'll see them in a few minutes. So stay tuned and uh, I'll be with you shortly. Now that I've um, changed backgrounds, obviously from my office to, uh, baseball and what I couldn't remember a while ago was the lantern and chest. Those are the two I'm going to feature this evening. Uh, these are new designs that I just came out with this year. They um, were um, presented at, again at the 2022 uh, Needlework Expo at the uh, end of August. Um, baseball. Well, why baseball? I played a lot of baseball when I was young, played a little league, played all through high school, American Legion ball. So I played a lot of baseball and I've always enjoyed joining the game of baseball. I still do today. Matter of fact, last night I was watching a fantastic show on uh, Netflix. Uh, I had to do with Nolan Ryan. And uh, for you folks out there, don't if you don't know who Nolan Ryan was, he's probably one of the greatest pitchers that ever pitched in baseball. And um, I thoroughly recommend going, if you have Netflix, going to watch that on Nolan Ryan. It was fantastic. A really good hour and a half spent watching that. Um, the way baseball came up with, well, obviously baseball, you got to have a glove. You got to have a base and you got to have a ball in the bat. And um, every kid's dream about a baseball. And so... That's what I came up with. I took three different images. I incorporated them, put it together, did a lot of merging with those in, uh, uh, various um, uh, objects and um, put them all together and uh, went through the same process that I normally do for uh, all of my designs. And that's what I came up with, the baseball. Um, it's been very popular so far. A lot of people enjoy stitching this. It's a lot of browns in it, a lot of a uh, golden color, but um, it's still um, still it's really one of my favorites. Uh, my wife was asking me why I didn't put softball in it. Well, because my daughter played softball. She played softball, fast pitch softball, um, all through high school, and even played college uh, fast pitch softball. So uh, I really was into that for a long time with her, but. I enjoy baseball even today, and I don't know if any of you out there have been following what's going on with the Yankees right now, and Aaron Judge, he uh, is on the um, verge of breaking um, Roger Maris' 61 home runs for the Yankees, which would uh, set a record. So um, anyway, that's uh, the reason I did baseball, and uh, I hope if anyone gets hold of it, they really, they'll really enjoy that. Uh, the other design I wanted to talk about a little briefly tonight was the uh, lantern in the chest. Uh, again, these are two different objects uh, that I put together with some keys on the table to um, 
it was a kind of a tranquil scene and um I, it was something that I just really just kind of threw together and uh, so to see how it would come out. And I wanted to take and put the wallboard behind up here. Uh, not, not, really, not really color that, but just give the uh, uh, resemblance of a wall back here. Because a lot of the white in that is obviously just the uh, white of the material of stitching. And uh, but anyway, this design. Uh, I thought it was a good looking design once it's all framed up. And so um, I'll be showing that to you uh, in the weeks to come, all framed up. Um, but anyway, these two new designs are uh, what I came up with. And uh, I enjoyed doing them. I enjoyed showing them at the show. Um, so um, that's what uh, I've been doing as far as this week. It's been a busy week for me. I've had a lot going on. Um, still go to the Y every morning. I go swimming every morning. I uh, I don't think I'm gonna be in the Olympics or anything, but I do go swimming every morning. So I get I'm trying to get some exercise in. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video this evening, and stay tuned for walking through with this new design that I've come up with that I'm going to come up with, and I'm going to show you all about that in the coming weeks. And so, until then, I want everybody out there to. Be safe and keep stitching. Have a great week and come back and see me soon. And thank you very, very much for all of your support and coming and checking out my videos.